Okay, in this video we're going to talk about uh, MIDI loopback and how to drive uh, hidden sounds that uh, normally can't be accessed uh, through the rhythm unit. We're going to use a MIDI loopback concept. If you do not have the uh, techniques uh, organ connected accordingly, um, review video 1 and 2 which covers how to uh, connect up uh, the MIDI loop in the back of the organ. Now, for those of you that are creative souls that want to try this with other brands of instruments, it is MIDI, one of 16 channels, uh, will be used for different things, and you can probably pull this off on a lot of different instruments. I did it on my Techniques keyboard. It works marvelously, but we're going to be doing this on an FA1. Now, I'm sorry I can't show you the whole organ uh, with all the buttons I'm going to be pushing, but we'll try to show some pictures so you get the general idea. First of all, what I'm going to do is we're going to turn on a rhythm, Foxtrot, and we're just going to play the Techniques rhythm. Now, take a look. Here's my drum volume, and let's just play that. Okay, that's a typical Techniques sound. To the left of the upper manual on the FA-1 is a button called Keyboard Percussion. Now, if you've seen this, and what it simply means is just that. It's for the keyboard. You can play these sounds from the lower manual. But if I turn on the rhythm unit, makes no difference whatsoever. These are all really great sounding drum kits, but they can't be played on the um, uh, through the rhythm unit. That is until you do the MIDI loopback. So here, let's do that. First thing I'm going to do is we're going to turn the drums completely off. Turn the volume all the way down. Now that thing we just did with the keyboard percussion, let's turn the volume all the way up on keyboard percussion or get it all the way as high as we think we should do. All right. So now we have no drums and the keyboard volume is up. So here we are. You hear all the different sounds. So what I'm going to do right now so we're going to take that same rhythm and what we're going to do is we're going to enter the MIDI setting screen. MIDI setting. And remember, you have to have this all set up. All these are going to be in their static off position when you start per video one. Let's come down to keyboard percussion and I use uh, 15. So we're going to tell the keyboard percussion to listen for a signal uh, coming in on channel 15. And since it's automatic, this is our automatic section, APC. Turn that on and come down to where you have drums. And you can guess, we're going to send the drum signal out via MIDI on channel 15. So we're transmitting on 15 and we're receiving on 15. Now, let's turn on the keyboard percussion button and start the rhythm unit. That's a little weird. So what you have now is you have all of these new drum kits accessible through MIDI on the keyboard because you are actually accessing those instruments via a MIDI channel. It gives you an entirely new range of sounds for your automatic rhythms and there are other tricks such as getting chord recognition on the upper manual, you can even have percussion on the lower manual. I'm going to show you a lot of different tricks using MIDI loopback, but this is a good starter because it's easy. It's only involving the drums. So if you have to, uh, watch this video again and do make sure that you have the organ connected properly uh, before you start. Hope this is uh, of interest and it opens some uh, ideas up for you on uh, how to get different sounds out of the techniques. And uh, thanks for watching.